In this video, I'm going to do one uh, question based on probability of, as an example given on our textbook. It says in a relay race, there are five teams, A, B, C, D, E. The question says that, what is the probability that A, B, C finishes first, second, and third, respectively? So as you can see, I've marked these positions, say the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Now, it is very important to uh, remember that we are just concerned about the first three places, right? And here it's being fixed that A being the first, B being the second, and C, C being the third, right? So what we can see here that uh, uh, placing A in the first place, B in the second, and C in the third, like this is the only one and unique arrangement that is possible. We cannot uh, uh, suffer it or... Uh, 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 jumble it like B, C, A. So you can see that this is only one possible ways by which these three teams can be first, second, and third. So if I talk about N of A, we have one such arrangement. Now coming to the number of sample point, as you can see that this place can be occupied by five teams, right? Any of these can be the first. So it can be filled with five ways. This can, the first slot can be five ways. This can be with four ways, and this can be with three ways. Now we are not going to consider these two spots because we are only concerned with the first three places, right? So we'll be not writing into two or into three that is using factorial uh, uh, fundamental th theorem of counting. So what we can say that uh, the number of sample point will be five into four into three and that comes out to be 60. So therefore the probability will be N of A that is as you know, favorable outcomes divided by total possible outcomes. So it should be one over N. Now coming to the next part, that is the B part. It says that what is the probability that A, B, C are the first three to finish? Again, we are just concerned about the first three spots. We are not concerned about the fourth and the fifth spot. Now here there is a, a different arrangement can be possible. Like say, for example, in the next uh, B part, if I place the A as first, B as second, and C as third. Now there can be fixing A at the first, right? It can be C as second and B as the third. Likewise, fixing B at first, we can have uh, A and C as occupying other two places. Again, fixing B at first and placing C and as the second and a as the third, and finally fixing C at uh, the first places, we can have either A, B, or can have B as the second and A as the third. So you can see that uh, we have in total six possible outcomes. So we can see the favorable outcomes over here, say if I use by B here, the N of B will be six. And the total outcomes remain same. It is important to consider that these two are not considered here, here because we are just assuming the first three outcomes. So N of S, which remains same, which we have already calculated as 60. So the required probability in this case, that is, say, if I denote it by PB, let's say PB is equal to 6 over 60, which can be reduced and be written as 1 over 10. So the, for the first part, our answer is uh, 1 over 60, and for the second, it is 1 over 10.